Welcome to another parent-teacher video lesson from the earlygiftedmanual.com, a free website for homeschooled children three to seven years old and their parents that promotes and develops giftedness at an early age. I am Gary Blank, the creator of that site and your host and facilitator for this video and all of the videos in my educational program. As the video lessons are designed to work in conjunction with the program on my website, I ask you to, at some point, click on the URL link in the description box below, and this action will take you to the earlygiftedmanual.com. By doing that, you will be able to put this lesson and all of the video lessons here on my channel in the proper context of the total program that I am presenting to you and your child. And welcome everyone to lesson 45. This is a video lesson on uh, teaching your child and working with your child uh, to measure weight. And here are some of the things we'll need for this lesson. You can see them out on the table here. Let's start out with actually something that is not on the table. You will need a uh, a balance scale and in particular I'll be using what's called a bucket balance and I'm not showing you that now because we really need a, a side view to understand that better so later on in the lesson you'll see the bucket balance we need small objects of uniform weight small identical objects for example um, color cubes which we've used before wooden color cubes here's some plastic color tiles, of course, all exactly the same. They should weigh, you know, more or less exactly the same. Um, quarters, I have a whole container full of quarters here. A container full of identical wood screws. Those will work out well. And uh, for measuring lighter things, uh, Here's a, a whole box of paper clips, and we'll use those uh, when we get the balance scale out to measure some lighter things. And here is uh, an old, old, old bathroom scale. I bet this is over 40 years old. Uh, a spring scale, and I borrowed this from a friend of mine just, to, uh, just for this lesson. Uh, we'll talk about that more very shortly. And this is called a postal scale. It has a platform, and it's also a spring scale, and it measures ounces up to about two pounds. And let's see, what else? I think that's everything. Oh, yes, and of course, obviously, you will need various things to weigh, and I'll show you what I will be using as we, as we go along. So before we get started uh, actually measuring some things using scales, uh, you can briefly mention to your child that uh, in addition to the, the scales I've already mentioned and I've shown you, there's even more different kinds of scales, and I'm going to mention them very briefly here. Uh, between uh, the postal scale and the bathroom scale, there's a uh, kitchen scale and, and some people use these in their kitchen and um, they they're good for measuring things perhaps up to uh, weight up to about uh, oh let's say 15 pounds or 10 pounds or so so that's kind of an in-between scale between the postal scale and the bathroom scale there are scientific scales which are cost much money and are very accurate you can mention those uh, to your child. And uh, you could even mention uh, road scales, where the scales that are built into the road that trucks drive on and, and someone can measure their weight. So I just thought I'd, I'd mention that before we actually get started here. Okay, and, and I will define scales here in just, just a minute. So what does that mean to, to measure weight? What is weight? Well, you could get into a very uh, elaborate um, description or, or definition of what weight is, dealing with gravity and all kinds of things. But uh, I think at this point, with the age of your child, something a little more practical 
would be, uh, would be better. So you can use terms like heavy and light. You could say, well, some things are light and some things are very heavy and some things are lighter than others and some things are heavier than others. And you could use, you know, an example. Um, you could say, for example, a feather is very light. Uh, my pencil here is, is very light. It's much lighter, for example, than this wrench. So we're just comparing here. Uh, and you could actually let him pick, pick up different things and, and decide for himself. And we can compare the differences between what things weigh. And we do this with, uh, uh, what word should I use? Um, an apparatus or a thing called a, a scale. So uh, that's, that's how you would define scale to him. And of course, now we're going to show him or her some scales. Uh, but before we do that, um, uh, we'll, we will be working with uh, non-standard units here when we get to the balance scale. But your child at this point, since, we're going, since we will start working uh, with the bathroom scale and the uh, postal scale here, is uh, to define the standard units. And of course, as an adult, we know that there are ounces. And you could have him practice writing these words out. Um, or an ounce. Maybe I'll just say an ounce. Pound. And even, and this may not be practical at this point, but you can mention a ton. And what are the equivalencies? Uh, you can write these out for him. And, and of course, uh, he or she can practice writing these out. 16 ounces equals one pound. And 2,000 pounds equals one ton. So those, those are the ones we'll be working with here. Nothing fancier than that, those, those three things. So we have ounce, ounce, pound, and ton. So uh, instead of uh, lots of explanations uh, for your child, uh, you can just say, well, um, the ounces and the pounds we'll get into shortly, and he'll get a better understanding of that. But he might say, well, what's a ton? 2,000 pounds, that sounds really big. You could just tell him, well, um, you could give him an example. You could say like a medium-sized airplane is 40 tons. Uh, some trucks weigh many tons. A car might weigh two tons. So. Uh, since we won't, won't be working with tons, you can mention that. All right, so let's uh, move this off to the side here, get our postal scale out. Let me explain this to you because I'm, I'll have to use it like this so you won't, will not be able to see the scale. I'm going to try to get it up as close as I can here to the camera. It's a spring scale and it's a platform scale. You put things on a platform and this indicator here will go down through ounces to about a pound and then finally all the way to two pounds down here. So it's a very simple spring scale and they call it a postal scale. Uh, often uh, people will weigh letters and small packages on this to see what kind of postage they might need to, uh, to put on it. So, um, I'm going to, let's see, what else can I tell you? Oh yes, and there's something called a, um, a zero set, and I've already done that. There's a little dial underneath here where you can adjust it so the, uh, the bar here, the yellow indicator bar starts right on zero, and I've already done that, and I'm gonna check it again just to be sure. Yeah, it's looking very good, all right. Okay, so I'm gonna place that here. And perhaps let's, uh, let's weigh a few things. Let's see, what can we start out with? And obviously this is going to be a very informal kind of, of lesson. 
Um, we're just basically comparing weights and getting your child uh, into the the idea of you know what do things weigh approximately like for example what would uh, what would this really cool toy car that I have in my collection weigh well you can put that on the platform scale and I'm reading it here the bar goes down to about four and a half ounces let's say that's five ounces and your child might want to know well how much is a pound then and I know because I've already looked at this, this whole uh, container of, I bet there's about 50 qu quarters in here, is pretty close to a pound. This container of identical screws is also pretty close to a pound. And um, of course there are lighter things. I'm going to put my Sharpie on here and, oh, doesn't even make it to a half an ounce, so it's much less than an ounce. And of course, you'd expect the same thing from um, this pencil. Barely makes the indicator move. But then if you put something on that's solid steel, like this wrench, uh, of course, that's going to be a lot heavier. So we'll put that on the platform, and look, that's four ounces, even though it's just slightly bigger than those two items. So things can be tricky, and as we'll find out with the balance scale, sometimes bigger does not mean heavier. Uh, here's an interesting example. This is a dry erase uh, a marker, an eraser for those, and it's made of styrofoam. So even though it's a fairly good size, you can see it in my hand, this is almost weightless. doesn't even make it to a, a half an ounce and that's because it's not very dense and you could use that that word uh, the denser an object the more it's going to weigh uh, let's see what else could we uh, could we weigh here let's weigh something a little bit uh, smaller let's weigh one of our color blocks oh, just barely nudges the scale let's put two of them on there now we're getting somewhere that's past the half and I'm looking and three of those equals one ounce. So let's, let's try the, uh, the uh, color tiles. Obviously these are smaller, they're plastic. So your child may be able to figure out that, well, I bet it will take more of these to make an ounce than the color block. So start putting them on here and there's three and we're still not even to a half an ounce yet four five six seven eight still not to an ounce nine ten and finally we made it to an ounce so ten color tiles equal one ounce uh, but it only took three three of the, the color cubes to make an ounce. So now we're getting into what we call equivalencies and we'll look at that a little more uh, closely when we get to the, uh, the bucket balance. So I'm going to take these off and just weigh a few more things. And you could have him guess, uh, him or her guess at what these things might weigh after you've done a few because uh, they'll be getting a, he or she will be getting a better feel for what things might weigh. Here's the scissors. That weighs in at about two and a half ounces. Here's uh, an eraser. I'll bet this doesn't weigh much at all. Half an ounce, maybe. Um, here's my wallet. I'll bet that's pretty light. Ha, ha, ha. <laughs> Little humor, folks. I'll lay my wallet on there. That's about three and a half ounces. Here's the cell phone. Hey, exactly the same. Uh, three and a half ounces, so you could show your child an equivalency. Uh, one wallet is about weighs about the same as one cell phone, so that's very interesting. So you get the idea. I could keep going on and on here, but uh, very informal. It's it's very uh, informal way of introducing your child to the concepts of weight, uh, what a scale is. Um, and comparing different things and getting an idea for what things weigh.